Next project we have for the day, welcome back to Sunshine and Country Channel, is you can see the turkeys can get on top of our uh, shed roof here, or actually the goat house. Um, it's a little goat, goat shed, they can get on top of the roof, and then from there they can actually get on top of our garage, which means they can technically jump over there on that side where our dogs are, which would be uh, no good thing, or they can jump over this area and get back into the main yard at night and that won't be good because of the predators so we're gonna have to find a way to keep them from getting onto the garage from the top roof here of the goat shed so we're going to try to add some fencing not along the garage that would be too much and too hard to do but we have some already some wood here we can tie into we can probably run some kind of a railing a 2 by 4 railing that runs along the edge of this goat pen and then raise it up high enough to where we can add just regular uh, the regular uh, fencing across it that won't weigh it down so much but it will also keep the uh, discourage the turkey or keep them from being able to hop over to the garage over here um, and just another little bit tidbit here we do have some cords running from there over to the where the baby turkeys are currently they're in this temporary shelter because they're still young um, it has the heat lamp in there and there's also another heat lamp that runs back into the goat shed if needed as you can see there, um, when it gets really cold, they do have a source of heat in both sheds. But to keep the wires from being on the ground, when the goats can get to them and chew them up, we have them coming off the top of the garage here. It has a little opening up underneath the rafters here. And we just run, in, run some PVC piping across here. And you can run the wiring right across it to keep it off the ground. And same thing for the goat. It actually runs inside this one because it's larger. But that keeps it off the ground. We can still hang the controller low enough where we can reach it. To where we can change the settings on it as needed. Whether it be dust or dawn or on or off. Um, you know, depending on the weather. We can change it right there without having to get constantly up and down the ladder. But that's another good idea for those of you that want temporary sources of heat during the winter you can run temporary line that way as long as it's close enough so we'll be right back to show you the, the fin actual finished project main project of adding the, uh, the railing the fence railing across this shed all right we're back here we just got done uh, doing the barrier up along the goat shed that we were talking about to try to get them from jumping up onto the garage up here so uh, as you can see the turkeys are trying to return here look like they're following my yeah y'all need to run around are y'all putting them up no. oh, okay they're following me i guess but as you can see all we did was added some two by four here to our corner to our corner post is already there so just attach some two by four a short piece of two by four here and on the other side there on the end and then just attaching another two by four to it that goes straight up roughly the length of the fence is about a four foot fence high fence there and we wanted to do it like this so we don't want to add a whole lot of weight but we also wanted a, a good barrier that'll discourage them from trying to jump across so you see there it goes up roughly four four foot high and this side here is the same way it just goes up now what we did here though, once we get to the, the PVC pole, we, we were able to tie wrap it to there, the small strip. And then we bent the cut along the top edge there to bend the top edge back towards the uh, back towards the uh, shed so that it more aligns with the, along the edge of the uh, roof. So that it will help discourage them from jumping from that end across there. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. Nothing major, of course, you know, this isn't designed to hold a whole lot of weight, but it's, it's enough to hold the turkeys back if they were to jump into the fencing. And then we are also able to tie wrap up, up against the roof edge here so that they don't accidentally fall through the fence from that side. It's, it's tight enough now where it's going to keep them from pushing on it as well. So, But just some simple ideas, improvisation there. And we'll see if it works out. We're going to try to leave them out for the night and see if they're able to jump on the garage or not. Mostly it's the baby turkeys right now that have been jumping on the garage. Um, the older ones, Jake and Rosalie, haven't been doing that. 
So hopefully they don't can't get on top of that one and then onto the garage, or else we'll have to move it further away. So there's not really a good attachment point for that one. Um, we, we did the roofing a little bit different on it because it's like really just a dog shed. Um, I'm gonna just show you real quick on how we did that one. Um, if you want a if you're using a dog shed and you want a better roof on the dog shed, um, what I did was just get some regular just this regular galvanized roof in here. And then I took some 2x6s, as you can see here, and cut it to the length I need it. And then notched it out, as you can see here, we notched it out. And then we used some uh, galvanized straps to go underneath, around where the bar is. And that keeps the fencing, or that keeps the, the roof secure from the wind lifting it off of the, uh, the uh, doghouse. See? So as you can see, the strap goes across underneath the bar from, from that notched area. And then we just have another 2x4 that goes across the middle to support the weight there. And then the end, we didn't need anything. We just tie wrapped it down to the pole that's already at the end of the, uh, that's already at the end there. And then it gives us a good angle for the rainwater to run off of. And it also gives a good roof, roof structure over this to cover from the sun and, uh, you know, obviously the rain. But also a lot of sun getting in. And of course, we have these tarps on the side just to protect them from the wind and, uh, and rain as well. And this has been working out really well. We have a perch in there for them to perch on at night. And then we have the heat map as well. So, and then their food is off the ground. There's some paracord around the, uh, the wood there. So, you see the wire runs in from here for the temporary heat and runs along with, up along the top. So, nothing's hanging on the ground. Goes down there, and that's about it. We got some. Got to clean this coop out again. But um, another kind of simple, rather inexpensive idea if you're looking to to put roof over your uh, convert the dog uh, pen into a turkey or chicken pen. If you wanted to, you can add a roof to it. As you can see here, see the slope there. So. Hope that helps out. Another inexpensive idea that you can do DIY real quick to do. And if you need to remove it, it's really easy to remove. You just undo the straps on all these wood and then just lift the, lift the roof right off of there. And you can, you can move it. Uh, move the shed after that. Take it down and then move it wherever you need to. Alright, until then, um, we'll call it a day for today. I hope you enjoy some of these simple projects, explanation on it and give you some ideas and then we'll see you again soon have a great day always have sunshine in your life signing out for sunshine and country channel subscribe and like if you like the content have a good day bye bye looks like jackson's up there testing it out already he was pecking at it at this step from the video but he's trying to see if he can figure a way around it so far he hadn't tried to jump yet. What are you going to do now, Jackson? Yep, that's a fence in your way. He will be the main one to stop because he kind of leads the pack. Uh-oh, there's a hawk. Yep, Jake's seen them too. Uh, Jackson's kind of fluffing out too. They see the hop. <laughs> Amazing they can detect them things and get close. Guess it's in their genes. Yeah, we got tons of hawk out here, obviously. All right, well, he hasn't tried to jump it yet, but he was testing it out, so we'll see what happens as time goes along. Over and out.